Hey guys, now I have the Pup Sugar Must Have box for the month of August. This one's really heavy, so I will have to see what's inside. I didn't see any spoilers this month. I try to stay away from those. I'm just going to open it right up. Everything's wrapped up nicely as always. And there's the little booklet that has everything inside, which I don't read because I like to open it up like it's a present. All right, so I'm going to hop right into it, and this little box is the first thing I see. I'm wondering if it's a candle or a type of cream or whatever. So let's see. So it's a, it's a candle, and it's an ocean tide and sea salt. It smells really good. It smells like the beach, so that's how it looks. It's really cute. I'll definitely get some use out of that. I like when they include candles in the boxes. And the next thing is from Kendra Scott. So there's probably some jewelry in here. It comes in this really cute little pouch. All right. All right, so this actually, this really cute, looks like a necklace. And that's how the front looks. It just flips over really easily. And then they give you a coupon if you want to go on and get more Kendra Scott items. And this is the food item, which is always one of my favorite items in the box. So this is the Delicious Festive Celebrate Cookie Mix. And it's ready to bake, just add egg and butter. I'm excited. I'm going to try this out. Um, unfortunately, my oven right now, for some reason, doesn't make cookies. Everything else, pizza or brownies... They work fine in the oven. Um, cookies, they just for some reason don't spread. They just, they don't cook correctly. So I'll try this out anyway though. Very excited. This sounds delicious. And maybe some lotion or body wash. Oh, ew. I just stuck my hand in there and it's all wet. Thankfully, like, you know, bath products, they wrap up individually because this isn't the only product that I've gotten. I'm probably going to ask them maybe to send me another one. This is like really leaking. This is a shower gel. The cap is coming off. It's leaking. And I actually need to go grab a napkin, which I did not have next to me because I did not think that I would need one. All right, sorry about that, guys. I didn't have a napkin handy because I didn't think that anything would be spilling on me. But that's, honestly, it's really wet. Like, hopefully they can replace that. I'll put this on the floor. All right, so moving on now that my hands are cleaner but still kind of sticky. At least they smell good. Uh, this is a Think Thin, which I've heard of this brand but have not tried them. It's a high-protein bar, and it's brownie crunch. I'll try it. Um, it sounds good because of the brownie, though typically with these like protein bars, I don't think they taste good at all, but you just never know. And what is this cute little thing? I'm wondering if you just put a lunch in this. We got like a bento box. I don't know when we got it, last year maybe. Um, but it was like this cute little system that you could bring your lunch to work with all your snacks in just like one little box. So it looks like this might be something similar. It's a small meal and dipper. Oh, that's cool. So you can put your stuff in there and your little dips in this little thing. And the last item in the box is a, another beauty product. This is Bite Beauty and is a Lush Fruit Lip Gloss. And it says, I'm guessing pop sugar might be um, the color of it. Maybe it's a custom one. Let me take it out. It's a pretty pinkish gloss here. It's kind of getting separated there if you can see it. But let's just see. It smells good. And there it is there. It's pretty pigmented, so I'm going to like that. So that's everything in the box. It doesn't seem like they included any like big, big items this month. Um, so I'm guessing that the jewelry is the most expensive item in the box. 
So the necklace is $50. The candle is $10. Um, the meal and dipper set is $8. The cookie mix is $12. The shower gel is $22. The lip gloss is $22. And then the brownie bar doesn't give you a price because it was an extra. So anyways, I still am loving this box. I will definitely get use out of everything in this box, even if I may not enjoy it, like the brownie bar, I'm still gonna try it anyway. And hopefully I can get that shower gel replaced because that's not good. So anyways, uh, if you have any questions about the box, please let me know. I will leave a link down below if you guys wanna sign up. It is $40 a month. It's cheaper if you sign up for the yearly subscription. It's like giving you a present to yourself every month. I have signed up for over a year now, about a year and a half, and I've loved mostly all of the boxes. Of course, you're not gonna like everything in them every month, but usually I am pretty happy with what they give. Uh, and I will see you guys next month. All right, bye.